Carissa Pucas is a YouTube star with more than 700,000 followers. And when she came down with a mystery illness, she says some of those loyal fans helped figure out the cause. What is good, my YouTube friends? This is 27-year-old Carissa Pukas, who posts her take on everything from fashion to fitness to food on her own YouTube channel. Last year, Carissa opened up to her fans about some personal health challenges she was having. I was continuously getting chronically more and more sick, regardless of how healthy I was living. It made absolutely no sense. So the consultation went awesome. And when Carissa was 22 years old, she had breast implant surgery. The incision would be underneath the fold in my boob, and that's pretty common, especially for the type of implant that I wanted, as well as the look that I wanted. What she wanted was to transform her B cup to a double D using implants. The procedure was done by a surgeon in Australia where she lived at the time. Ready for surgery, so I will see you guys on the other side. Hi everybody, I am out of surgery. Carissa continued to document her recovery and about a month after surgery, she returned to her regular activities. But six months later, she said she began to experience symptoms such as anxiety, fatigue, body odor and food intolerances. Visits to local health clinics seemed to offer no definitive answers to her medical mystery, though one doctor diagnosed her with situational depression, something Carissa says she had never experienced before. In April, I believe, of 2017, I did a gut health video letting you guys in at a really vulnerable moment in my life. I had a few comments saying, have you ever considered breast implant illness? And I looked into it, and what I found absolutely changed my life. And Carissa joins us now. It's nice seeing you here, healthy and happy. Uh, this is the ultimate story of being your own advocate. You knew something was wrong and nobody was diagnosing it correctly. What all were your symptoms? I was having a wide range of symptoms. First started off with a lot of fatigue and a lot of anxiety that I never previously had. And it was very overwhelming, especially living overseas away from my family. I didn't really have the support. Started into having really bad uh, food intolerances. I was having bowel movements eight to 10 times a day. My joint pain was so uncontrollable. It would wake me up in the middle of the night. I had awful smelling sweat even after showering. It was just wrong. Something was wrong, but no one was listening. And, and so when did it start to dawn on you that your, it could be your implants? It was because of the video that I put out. And uh, I received comments from different followers saying, have you ever considered it could potentially be breast implant illness? Mm -hmm. I'd never heard of it. And I almost had an ego response as my first response because you're just like, go away. Like, it's not my boobs. Like, it's fine. It's never been mm -hmm. that. And the more I started reading into it and the more women's stories that I uncovered, it was the same symptoms. It mm. could not be any more the exact same thing that I was going through. Did, so. you, did you find a doctor who said, yes, this is definitely what's causing it and here's why? Or did you just say, let's get these out of me. I want to start fresh. There is no doctor that will definitively say that breast implant illness is a medically recognized problem, which mm. is unbelievable to me with the amount of women that have struggled with the exact same problem. So once you realized this, how quickly did you move to get your implants removed? I realized in about, I put the video out in probably April 2017, and then I truly believed it was that in about July 2017, and then I wasn't able to book in and get my surgery until the following April, so this wow. past April which was hard because you have that anxiety mm -hmm. the whole time thinking about, like, I know these objects inside of me are making me sick. I mm -hmm. swear it has to be this. There's nothing else that makes sense. And how quickly after they were removed did you start feeling like yourself again? It was almost immediate. It was really? so shocking. I had my family there, and when I was wheeled out of surgery, mm -hmm. I had more color in my face than when I... We pictures of that before, before you went in and then after, and it really is, is remarkable. Hold on. I think we're going to get that right now. It was a night and day difference. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. But wow. uh, I started feeling better right away. I mm -hmm. still had uh, slight persistent gut troubles, as gut things do take a while to balance out. But nine months out, I am 100% symptom-free, mm -hmm. and I'm so, so grateful. It's given and me my life back. No signs of depression or any yeah. of that. All of that is just it's completely gone. What's wow. your message to, to other young women who are thinking about doing this, doing implants or, or other body-altering surgeries. What's your message to them? You know, I'm not anti-plastic surgery, but I'm absolutely pro-information. And I feel that women are getting the short end of the stick. Mm -hmm. It's not fair for 
the manufacturers to be doing these studies rather than a third party. It's like asking the tobacco industry to self-regulate. Mm -hmm. How would that be safe for anyone? It's right. not. And Just that's the current situation that we're in. And I don't think that that is serving anyone at this point. Mm -hmm. Well, the uh, American Society of Plastic Surgeons estimates that more than 300,000 women underwent breast augmentation last year. And now the FDA is creating a new registry to try and better understand the long-term impact. I mean, but that could take a very long time. That's the problem. And I think up until this point, too, it's all been you have to tell your doctor, and that's the only way that they would know. Mm -hmm. But the doctors don't have to then pass it on to any third party. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they can just internalize it, never say a thing, and the patient goes home wondering why they're still sick. They never get answers. Wow. I would have never found out this is what it was if it wasn't for other women in the community sharing their stories. I'm so, so grateful. Well, you, you look amazing. I'm so glad your health Thank is back. You. We did reach out to uh, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons for a reaction to Carissa's story. And we, see, we received a statement that reads in part, decades of research show no causal relationship between breast implants and autoimmune diseases. No medical device is without risks, and all patients should consult their plastic surgeon if they experience a change in health. Hmm. But thank you very much you. for... You want for, to say one thing? Yeah. I was just going to say, would you rather trust women that have been through it or somebody that's selling you a product? That's a good question. Carissa, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate this platform, and so many women do too. If women are looking for more information on this, please check out the Facebook support groups. There are breast implant illness support groups with a ton of information in the files section. It is of the utmost importance that we share this because other women will know and find their way. Great Absolutely. Advice. So important. Thanks so much. We'll be right back.